Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Playing some more Minecraft today, uh, and I'll get into that in a moment. The title of this stream was going to be I Have Suffered and I Have Become a Coward, or Returned a Coward. I forgot. But apparently you can't have the word coward in your Twitch stream title. So I had to change it, I have suffered, but I have returned, and that's it. Um, anyway, we're not going to be playing hardcore anymore. Because, uh, well, a couple runs are one thing. But, like, I feel like after a while of doing the early game and then wasting a bunch of time building stuff, only to, like, die to, like, a weird reason, it's kind of annoying and not that great to watch. So we'll be doing a normal survival thing from here on, uh, where I just roam around with some mods on 1.19. Speaking of mods, I have a number of them that I have increased. I've updated to the latest version of uh, Forge, or Forge, that's what it is, that I could use with other mods and whatnot, because some of them weren't working right, and some of them required the latest version or newer versions of Forge, and some of them, yeah, anyway, I, uh, I spent a good couple hours if not more than a couple, uh, looking through mods for 1.19 and trying to get them to work. I would put them in the mods folder, try and hit the play button on Minecraft, and it would crash a couple seconds later, so I'd have to remove the mods and put them in like one by one to make sure the game would launch. And even if the game did launch, when it opened up and it was trying to load all the mods, it would still give me like, oh, this mod can't work, or this mod doesn't work with this version of whatever, and all that good stuff. And so I had to uh, narrow down that list of like 50, 60, 70 mods, whatever, to only like 35. Uh, that's currently how many I have in my mods folder, but that also includes libraries. And speaking of libraries, I currently have four of the puzzles library because the different mods apparently required different versions of the puzzles library and the different versions didn't work with each other or something. It was weird. So like, for example, one of the mods required puzzles library like four point like 18 or higher. And no, no, it required like 4.13 or higher. And I had 4.18, which is higher than 4.13, but it didn't work. So I installed 4.13, 4.15, 4.6, and uh, just another one that is not listed currently right there. And all the mods that required the puzzles library that work with this version of Forge that I wanted are here. Yeah, kind of a pain. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, so I went ahead. I got a bunch of mods, and I'll go over them here in a moment. We'll uh, start up the game, and I'll kind of show you in-game and also explain some other things that I've done. First of all, I've removed the texture pack, and of course we don't have Optifine anymore. Because Optifine is not ready for the, the latest version of Minecraft, which, uh, or the latest version of Forge. Which is unfortunate, you know. But that's just how it is sometimes. Currently, I'm on Forge 1.19, uh, 41.0.111, which is the very latest and the most recent version of Optifine is for Forge 41.0.63, uh, which is unfortunate. So I'm loading the game now. And I already went ahead and generated the world. Whatnot, so we don't have to have a huge like time wasting doing that. So yeah, but anyway, as you can see here, we'll open up mods and we can kind of just go through them. So we have Torchmaster, which I forgot what it is. I'm being honest here. Yes, open this up. We'll read what it does. Torchmaster adds special torches to prevent mobs from spawning in a certain radius. So it's kind of like the uh, the Magna Torch. Terra Blender um, is a library mod, so it doesn't really matter too much. It's for like biomes and stuff like that. Ender tanks 
I also have ender chests, which add the ender tanks and ender chests to allow you to like pump fluid back and forth. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think ender tanks matters because I don't have anything to pump things with. So yeah, mouse tweaks, which is the mod that is so glorious, adds a bunch of different like interface tools and stuff that you can use the mouse for. I believe it's the mod that adds the, uh, you hold shift while you're opening up a chest and you can like just drag the mouse with left click over to, uh, over uh, the items and they'll just come in. I have tool belt, which allows you to have a tool belt that you can wear and then put tools into it. So it like declutters your inventory and you can take them out if necessary. Uh, Nether portal spread is an interesting mod, which when you have another portal, it'll actually spread around the, uh, the area. And like what you see in the overworld with the ruined nether portals, how the nether has leaked out of it. You have biomes of plenty, which should be self-explanatory, adds more biomes. The ring of growth, which is a ring that accelerates plant growth and sapling growth while you have it in your hand around it. Block runner um, encourages you to build paths because certain blocks make you faster than other ones, which is cool. Furnish adds just a bunch of decoration blocks, which is neat. Uh, roughly enough items is like JEI and NEI, but JEI is not working with this version of Forge yet, or at least it didn't when I tried. So I had to get roughly enough items. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, we have this data pack anvil, which I'm not sure what it's for. We have the ball of infinity fix. And this one, it removes the need for you to have an arrow when you have infinity. So it takes up one less inventory space, which is nice. I was able to get uh, Zero's minimap and Zero's maps to work again. Collective is just a library. Uh, Structory is the one that we had previously that has, you know, Buildings with like lore stuff into it. Dungeons now loading is the dungeon one we had previously. Jump over fences allows us to jump over fences like we had previously. The Ender Chest one there. Feed the Beast Ultra Mine is our uh, strip mining, breaking multiple blocks at once mod, which is great. Uh, the Ring of Ender Chest allows you to have a ring, which allows you to access your Ender Chest on the go. Kind of cool there. Architecture is. I think it's just a required library, and we got another library, another library, another library, we got Forge itself, Apple Skin, which adds various food-related stuff, like how much food a certain piece of food generates, you know, we got the uh, Shafani Core for that, we got Material Chance, which is, adds a chance to finding a random material inside a stone block when mining, like gold or stuff like that, for example. Uh, fast leaf decay. Once you destroy a tree, it decays faster. We have the enchanting infuser, which is uh, adds all new enchanting table. You can choose your enchantments for fair prices, no more like randomness kind of stuff. You can actually choose what you want, which is cool. And then trading post, which uh, you can trade with all the villagers at once. It says uh, it, it sounded like it gave you like a lot more trading options, uh, which was kind of cool. So those are all the ones that I got right now. Like I said, there's a bunch of uh, different. <clears throat> Uh, libraries involved and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to get more, I wanted to get magic mods and technical mods, but those either did not launch or they were not for this version of Minecraft, so I couldn't play. Anyway, we were at in our survival world, and I want to show you some things here. Uh, <clears throat> never mind, I can't. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I did then. So I removed mob griefing, which is when creepers blow up, they destroy blocks. They don't do that anymore. And I also made it so that you keep your inventory on death because honestly, dying and having all your items scatter around is, is just a pain. That's all it is. It's like, well, I guess I gotta walk back a thousand or more blocks to where I died and pick up my items and they might despawn by the time I get there. So that's real great. Like, it's just annoying and pointless. So anyway, like I said, I generated the map already. It'll just take a moment for everything to load in quick. But uh, we already have some interesting stuff. I keep trying to middle mouse click to zoom in like with Optifine, but whatever. So maps are already all generated for me. It'll just take a, like I said, a couple seconds to pull the kick back over here. And uh, I looked around and we got a maze of biome here with some mine shaft things there. We have this, which I, think is a village, but I'm not sure what all this purple stuff is. Because purple stuff is like the, uh, um, like boats or shot arrows, stuff like that. So I really want to go down here and investigate that. There's also more over here. 
I guess it could also be like eggs that are, no, eggs would be yellow. We have this biome up here, which I'm not sure what it is. We have a huge pool of lava, it looks like over here. So I think that's a volcano. Um, we have some other stuff. Yeah. All right, anyway, so let's mark what we're gonna check out first here. So let's mark that. And then is there anything in this biome that looks interesting? I wanted to check out before we head down to that village. We got this like marshy biome. Interesting, right? Um let's see. Are there any desert temples around here? I don't see any on the map right now anyway. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and head south to this village and uh or what looks to be a village, I don't know for sure. We'll just kind of see what uh what is it? What's going on? I do appear to be lagging a little bit. I think that's because chunks are still generating and stuff, but hopefully that'll peter out. That I removed my mods for like Optifine and the shaders, because the uh the shaders well, I guess Optifine worked with the shaders, so I removed the shaders because of that. But the uh, the texture pack that adds like all the weird things to the leaves kind of annoyed me. I got rid of that one. But I'm gonna just go ahead and steal this bed. We have it with us. Photographer table. We got that there. Was there a lower part to this house? Oh, there was. Well, no matter. Let's just look around and see what we can find out here. So what? Oh, all those purple dots that were there before are gone. Interesting. Was it? It would have been right here, right? All those dots. So maybe it was falling sand? Maybe the sand like resettled and that's what caused it to look like that? I don't know. Hard to say, really. We'll of course grab some of this wheat so that we can have food. Always nice to have. And as with any, you know, beginning of the journey of Minecraft, we uh, kind of want to look for a nice place to set up shop. We also have this uh, pillager tower there, which I don't want to deal with because the... Uh, Venerators were very naughty. We got another portal right there. We can go to investigate as well. Excuse me, sir. Do you want potatoes? Okay. Just in there. Ooh, a book. I don't really need a book right now. I'm going to fill up and clog my inventory. We'll just ignore that for right now. We got a crafting table here, which will. Help us with this. Perfect amount. Excellent. Okay. This is the tower, which we can just climb up here. Get to a chest, and we just basically get some more bread. I don't know why they insist on putting cactus everywhere. What we got here? More bread, we got a couple of emeralds, which is nice. More wheat, which we'll take. Okay, okay. Ah, hello there, you. Ooh, we already got some emeralds and two diamonds. That, that is helpful. That is very, very helpful. We'll trade me some tools for an emerald, you know what? How about you give me... How do I... Okay, there. Give me a stone pickaxe. Not that I, you know, need one specifically right now, but... I mean, uh, I have spare emeralds. Nothing else to really buy. Spend money on. So why not just get a, a very quick pickaxe without having to worry about making one? Sure, I could have, you know, gotten... Uh, the steel pick, or iron pick, sorry, 
but I don't know if I want to spend iron on a pickaxe quite yet. Might want to, but I'm not entirely convinced yet. Ooh, we can get some arrows. That might be useful. We'll grab a couple of them. What do you got in here? Flushing table? Okay. Another farmer over that way. If a farmer wants wheat, we could get some more of those to get some more emeralds, you know? Oh, another tower. Not gonna find much up here, but better than nothing. Ooh, we got some more emeralds though, so that's gonna be helpful. If we can find someone who sells us a bow, or if we can find a bow, or get some string, I guess. We could uh, very easily get a bunch of arrows. What about this house? Leather for emeralds or leather pants? Okay. Anything on the uh, second level here? Look like it. Okay. A couple more houses and then we'll be done with the uh, investigation here. And we can move on. Alright, do you have anything here? Oh, hello, little one. I'm gonna take some bread from you. Thank you. Don't need the rest of that. How about this little hut? What do we got in here? Ooh, it's a smoker. I wanted to cook stuff. We could cook that. Up oh, there's just a cartographer table, and that's just a bed. Okay. So that is the whole village. Uh, for this little hut here, I guess. We kind of... Get away from me. Where's the entrance? Here it is. Yep, nothing here. Okay. So... I'm not sure what activates the Ultra Miner. Maybe there's a button for it. At least that worked out very quickly for us, you know? Okay. So I'm gonna make a crafting table that we'll just carry around with us for right now. And I'll turn the rest into planks. So the question is, I have five iron, so I could make a helmet. Um, I could make a sword, which I might actually want to do. If anything, a sword would definitely come in handy right now. Also, I think... There's a shortcut key for it. Hold on. Controls, uh, keybinds. So, let's see. Block, inventory, doesn't matter. Creative mode, whatever. I can have that enabled. Um, social interaction screen. Highlight players. Okay. Okay. Tool belt. All right. Um, open tool belt screen is V. Okay, that's good to know. Very, very good to know. Swap tool is R. Okay, this is all for the mini map mod, world map mod. So how do I use Ultra Mine? So with V, I think I'm holding a. Probably not. Yeah, because it conflicts. Hold up. Controls, mouse settings, or not mouse settings. Where was it at again? Right here. Use the middle mouse button. That's not used by anything right now. So, here's the middle mouse button. It opens this. Oh, do I put them here? No? Oh, I need a tool belt first. Right, I'm an idiot. Just, just ignore me. I'm going to replace that again. He binds the Tool belt. Let's put that back to V just for the sake of that. But I didn't see anything for... The... Ultra Mines. So I guess it just automatically happens if you have the right tool. Which would make sense, I suppose.
So in that case, why don't we test that theory? Because I want a iron axe, and we'll use that as our primary weapon. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working like I thought. Maybe it has to be like the furthest down one here. No? Hmm. I'm curious. Now, let me look it up real quick. FTB Ultramine. Does it tell me how to use this? If you hold the tilde key, okay. If I hold this and do that, there we go, okay. So also, if I were to move the crafting table, I can just do this, and bam, all of the uh, grass just goes away in the area. That's perfect. If I wanted to mine or shovel some sand, I can do that too, but I'm not going to waste my time doing that. So let's grab all this. This will be really helpful here. Uh, Move this whole tree at once. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so that's all sorted. We understand how that works now. It really helps me over just look stuff up. All right, let's see if this farmer down here will sell us anything. Let us trade. Where did he go? Did he really wander all the way over here? Cat. This one, the farmer? Oi, that's a cat too. Where'd the farmer go? What about you? You have a powerful book. Don't care about that. Oh, Brim, where'd he go? There he is. Hey. Perfect. Okay, so I can sell some of this wheat since we absolutely do not need, like, more than a stack of bread right now uh, at this particular time. Got 11 emeralds, which is excellent. And it doesn't really do much for us right now. Can't really... Uh, a spider. We'll go ahead and sleep the night through. Uh, perfect. Okay. I'd like to find another crafting bench. Where was it at? There we go. Make this into that. Oh, I do have two more iron. I could make shears if I wanted to, but no, I think we'll pass on that for right now. We'll just kind of hold off. All right, so our plan was... Oh, there's actually something down here. A little structure that you can just barely tell. Is there anything else down this way? As far as I can tell. But we'll go down and explore this, then we'll just cut across to that nether portal, see if it has anything good for us, you know. Um, right, I was going south first. Okay. Let's go. All right, so eat our bread to get saturated there. Oh, this is uh, that mine one, right? The Hidden Oasis, which gives us flint and steel and a bunch of TNT that I don't want. So, uh, what was this? Deep Oasis. Dive into the Oasis and reveal the hidden structure. So, oh, oh my. So the, the sand was in the way of that, huh? Okay. Now, a bunch of sand did just drop down here, so... Definitely got some spawners and TNT there. There was also a treasure chest I could see. I had some sort of, like, rebreathing apparatus. Helpful, but alternatively, what I can do... Go down here. Oh, wait. Didn't we... I seem to remember we got Guardian when we were down there one time. 
All right, let's go. I saw a chest. Where was it at? There it is. Go up. I think this is a swift potion or it's a deep dive potion. What's this do? Water breathing out of absorption. Oh. Let's just use this right away. I'm going to put all the bottle away. So now we actually don't have to worry about uh, drowning again, which is very nice. So let's take a look. What we got here? More emeralds. Perfect. Prismarine shards. Okay. Rock hot. I don't know what that. What is this? Some sort of spawner, yeah, but like what kind of spawner? Actually, question. If I use flint and steel, it does start up... Ugh! Run away! I have mining fatigue, so I won't be able to mine anything, unfortunately. But, that's okay. Oh, it's not actually doing any damage around there, huh? Okay. Interesting. Well, the only real way to go is further down, right? More TNT down here, but TNT doesn't seem to do anything. Since it's, uh, you know, all water. Mining fatigue is really going to uh, mess me up. Is there anything even in the way there? I, I don't think... Maybe that's all there is here. It's just that. I mean, obviously there should be a guardian if I got mining fatigue, but I don't know. I uh, kind of don't want to waste my time there. You know what I mean? Seems uh, fruitless. What can I even do with the prismarine shard? Turn it into that or a sea lantern. A dark prismarine. Um, what is this? This interface is weird. What is this? I don't know. Uh, what about the prismarine shards? What can I use them for? Just that, huh? Just the sea lanterns? So really, no real use. I'm just going to drop them again then. Okay. Well, now that we've searched this area, go ahead and continue on. And we'll just head towards this nether portal and see what goodies it has for us, you know? Easy peasy. Ooh, I keep, I keep trying to zoom in. And, uh... Optifying spoiled me being able to do that. Kind of a shame, a waste, waste of time to use that water breathing potion like this, but I mean, I already kind of explored what I had to. Got some goodies too, which was nice. Bunch of emeralds and a bunch of iron helped out. All right, so we're coming across to the nether portal. I can already see its frame there in the distance. Of course, we won't be able to do much with it at this particular moment, since uh, we don't have a obsidian mining pool. Is the chest visible? Oh, no, it's not. And we still have a minute on mining fatigue. Oh, OK. But well, while that minute goes by, let's look at the map, because we might have some more uh, structures around us, right? I think we got one here. That looks like something generated. Um, like another village down here. But other than that, I don't really see anything. I wonder if the Biomes of Plenty mod is making it so there's not as many of the like rare structures also i see something here and perhaps here judging by just the different colored blocks here 
This one looks similar to what we saw over here. I wonder if that's another oasis, which if it is, how much longer we got on water breathing? Four minutes, okay. Oh my God, mining fatigue is still going. Okay, here's what we'll do. Let's go to this structure over here first. And then we'll worry about the other stuff. We'll come back to the nether portal and do that. So was this anything here? These are sticks. Ah, it was, uh, I guess nothing? Yeah, it just looks like lava and obsidian and stuff. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, if we keep going this way, that was just forest area, huh? Keep going towards the red one, though. We'll hit the possible oasis as well. If we do that, we can take advantage of our oxygen. Looks like it is. Now. The trouble here, though, is if it's not exposed to water, am I going to be able to open it? Mind fatigue is gone. Um, so I just got to figure out, would it be here? Yep. Wait, I go down again. I'm going to get mining fatigued, right? That's okay. I'll deal with it. Okay. I don't know there was any other chests, so we're just going to get out of here. Before I get mining fatigued again. Easy. Okay. And now, another village here, huh? Okay. But before we go there, let's go back to the other, the, the nether portal. That way we can get whatever goodies it has. I'm not going to use these bottles of enchanting yet, because if I die, it's just going to you know, go to waste. So no point doing that quite yet. Ow. Also, speaking of, when I was... Uh, adding and removing mods and stuff like that. You'll notice that some of them were you know, removed, uh, and that's because they no longer work with this version of Forge, like the uh, the XP from Harvesting Crops mod doesn't work anymore, which is really unfortunate, because that one was nice. But, yeah. Okay. There we go. Just nuggets, really? How dare it. Fortune 3, you know, breaking 2. Mm, what a... Nice. I'm going to take this flint and steel just to have the new one. Okay. So we got what we came for here. I have a hoe that I can use for a little bit. A fortune shovel, which should help if we need flint, I guess. Okay. And we also got another uh, water breathing potion for whenever we need to explore water. Yes. So let's see. We have the village down there, the village over there. Another village over here, too. Oh, another structure here. So I guess what we can do is go south to here, loop around to here, and then go to here and here. That'll be the plan. Gotta be careful of that, though. I don't want to get hit by the pillager army. Bring my self to the village to get it overran, you know. Ah, <sighs> alright. It's becoming night, and 
If it was hardcore, I would be sleeping right now, but since it's not hardcore, I don't care if I uh, take a little bit of damage. No, the monsters won't hit as hard, and also if I die, I won't, you know, not have to restart. We'll be good. All right. Oop. I was really hoping I could get a, uh, a storage mod of some sort like Flight Energistics or something like that, or like Iron Chests at least, which would give me some increased uh, storage capabilities so I didn't have to like make a bunch of chests when, when we're uh, later on in the game. But unfortunately, none of the storage mods that I can find would work. Not even like the Drawers mod, which you know, is not ideal, but it still works. Fortunate. Let's find a bed quick so we can pass the night. The villagers don't all die. Okay. You there, you sell anything? Nope. Okay, let's take a look. I got an unbreaking golden bow. Means I can harvest these faster, right? Yeah. Much faster. Never mind. You know what? Never, never mind. I just don't got anything. Go around to this side here. What is this? That's just a path? I don't even want to waste my time going up that tower. I know it's in there already. So, I've been mining these out like, you know, an idiot when I could just vein mine with my hand. Saw anything? No, you do not. Nothing in there. Nothing in here but a. Uh, you know what? I will make a iron pickaxe. Just so I have one. And then, you know what? I mean, I might as well just cover myself in armor. Perfect. Armor, got some weapons, it's got the little hole. He's an idiot. Okay, what else do we have here? This is just a very bad place for this village to be, isn't it? Go. All that, thank you. Hold on, is the door right there? Oh my god, it is. Can I make this jump? Oop, I can. Blast furnace, but I have nothing to cook in there, so it doesn't matter. Iron golems down there. This village is honestly not ideal. Like, in the slightest. We've got another oasis over there, too, which is cool. Loot that here in a moment. You want clay? I don't really have much for these guys to buy, huh? Oops, that way. Well, I mean, there are a bunch of other villages I can go to after this one, so. All right. Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh god, I got the fucking mod. Oh, mouse tweaks, thank you. You are the MVP. I only see one farm, so I think there's only one farmer here. In that case, let's just go check out the oasis here. Nothing I want, so let's just do that. Apparently it's always on the side, which is a thing. And we'll sneaky sneaky over here. Take the iron, take the gold, take this and that and those. 
And get out of here. Meow. Easy. All right. Well, we have enough iron to make the rest of our armor, but... Is that a structure? I see it from here. On the side of that mountain, but I think it is a structure of some sort. Do I want to check that out? I want to check it out. Let's go. We'll just take a quick peek, see doodle. See what this little thing over here is. Oh. oh. Okay. It's an interesting structure. Looks like we got some scaffolding up there. That's neat, that's neat. I hear someone in there. Definitely a bad guy because of the uh, the red dot. Okay, it was definitely a uh, bad boy. Luckily, he could not come down the stairs. So that was very good for us. Just a ladder out here. It's bizarre. I'll take the scaffolding because finding bamboo it be potentially hard. Hmm. I don't think that ladder matters right now, so I'll just ignore it. Barrels never have anything good in them. Notice that? Go for this floor. And see that for now? Feathers for right now, take these sticks, why not? Anything out here? Particularly? Let's continue in. Out on this deck. So this is where I could have climbed up the ladder there too. Seems to still be some area up. So... Maybe I just need to use the scaffolding to get up here further. Okay. What a weird, like, structure. It's just... Oh, there we go. We got my bow. Excellent. What a weird structure. Like... So bizarre. Let's use the golden pickaxe first. I was wondering if there was something else like hidden inside here or something. I don't think there is. Yeah. Just more of the same. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll just grab what uh, I can for the scaffolding and we'll head back down. The one thing about the ultra mine is that it uh, definitely takes up a lot of durability, unfortunately. I thought the scaffolding was supposed to break when you hit the last one. Okay. We've dealt with that. That looks like an interesting little hole, cavern thing. Another village over here. Holy crap. But we're going to ignore that one. We want to go up further that way. So that's what we're going to do. Anything else in this area? That looks like it could be another portal. We'll head back over to the west while making our way towards the villages to the uh, the west as well. I think a boat right now wouldn't be bad, but yeah. Another one will 
carry one around with me right now. Not quite yet, anyway. Yep, looks like we got some red over there. I'm not sure if it's terracotta or nether, though. Do you see some black as well? So maybe it is? Yeah, it looks like it could be. We might use up all of our shovel's durability trying to mine it, though. Okay. Hey, it is. So the question now is where would I be? I were... A chest. Oh, we're gonna have to. There we go. Okay. Of course, it's just nuggets. I need to see. Well, I get rid of this cut sandstone. Take this sandstone. Um, get rid of the saplings and take this gold nuggets. Okay. Actually, what I could do right now is I have a bow. I have some feathers and sticks. Flint. I do that to get rid of most of the stuff there. And then also, while I'm here, turn these into their corresponding things. I'm just going to get rid of those golden nuggets since I don't need them. And then make some boots. And we'll make a helmet. Easy peasy. I don't want to get rid of all that stuff. And then I can also make an extra shovel. Just to fully get rid of the iron that I have been holding on to. Okay. I'll come in handy a little bit later, hopefully. Anything else I want to craft right now? Can I make gold and anything useful just by itself? Other than tools and stuff, obviously. Yeah, barrel lantern, huh? Wait, it's golden? I thought it was diamonds and... Oh no, it's golden netherite to make netherite ingots, and then it's... Yeah, okay. Golden apple, compass, beacon. What was, uh... What do I need for the tool belt? I need leather, iron, and strings. Oh, I just need leather, really. Go ahead and give this back. And uh, I'm actually going to sleep this night because we're a little far from the village to head back there. But that's fine. All right. So now we'll continue up that way. Anything else to the south been revealed? Ooh, we got some interesting texture down there. I wonder if maybe that's some sort of ocean biome for biomes of plenty. Hopefully we can find a farmer in the next village that buys wheat, and then I can give him all the wheat uh, bales that we have stored up and get a bunch of emeralds from it. I really start pooling our em em emerald our emerald resources together. Very helpful. See a tower from the village already. Let me open up the map real quick. Yeah, it looks like there's a ship out there. Okay. An interesting little cave divot. Right, so we're going to head towards this green marker now. Let's eat a little bit of our bread while we're at it, shall we? Oh, we won't run out of sprint, but... This boat is actually not bad. Unbreaking and power. Damn, if I could find... Does Infinity work on this? I forget which. There's some modifiers that Infinity does not work with. Is it Flame? Never remember. If I could get Infinity on this bow and Mending, we would be in business. Maybe Mending and Infinity don't work together. Is that it? Well, it's not like a bow is the hardest thing to make or repair. So... Oh, emeralds for arrows? I might take you up on that offer. After I take a look and see... What is this? It's just, uh... Nothing up there, huh? Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and take this, uh... Wheat. That's not close enough together. Hey, yo, villager! What you got? What you got? Book? Band of Athropods? Meh. Not going up that tower. Screw that nonsense. What else we got here? Got a farmer over here. Hello there, farmer. Let me check his place first before we go talk to him. All right, farmer. Do you sell wheat? Yes, you you buy wheat. Sorry. That's what I meant. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. It's mine. You, don't, you can't have it. Ah, that's all I can trade with him, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have a uh, stack plus sum of wheat, but uh, the good news is we got a decent amount of emeralds now. Maybe this village will have another farmer. Ooh, he does. Hey, villager over there. Do you want some wheat? No, I want carrots. How dare you want carrots of all? Actually, can't I take this away and then put it back? Have him turn into a farmer again. Oh wait, come turn into a farmer, you lazy bastard. One of y'all, turn into a farmer. You want to turn into a farmer? Look like you do. He does. And he wants wheat. Excellent, sir. Well, congratulations. Here's some wheat for you. Oops. I will need to transform some more. Hey, bud. I will give you all the wheat that you can handle. I guess that's all you can handle right now. That's all I can handle. Or is it? Oh, ho, 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 baby. Excellent. This is so good. I don't want to turn all of it into wheat, though, and then have a issue where, you know, He spells out, so let's try to keep it to groups of 20. I think that'll be good. Yeah, there's 64. Perfect. Let me sell some more, though, or make some more, then. Um, it's going to be 10. That'll be 20. So, 1, 2, 3. That'll be 40. Okay. Hey, bud, how about this? Who wants more? Okay. I guess I'll just turn the rest of it into that. Here we go. We almost have a full stack of emeralds. Ooh. Ooh la. Pretty good. Okay. I think I see some more bundles of wheat too, so that's uh, even nicer. There's one over here as well. Oh my god. I, I, I love the like. Vein mining things there. It's so good. Being able to just hit one thing and all of it becomes part of you is just uh, all of it mines. Whatever I'm trying to say here, it's great. I love it. Okay, how about this, sir? Do you want some of this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's more. Okay. Well, I don't mind, but try not to use up too much here. More. You know what? Screw it. Let's just turn it all into it. I don't know how many stacks you guys take, but... Oh, man. That's rough. Ah. Uh, why is it now 19? Hmm. Yeah, what is it? Almost have a stack of emeralds. Dang. We are making money. All right. We have another village to the north. We have another oasis over here. Cool. So let's head to the north and deal with this. 
don't care about the beet. I just want the, uh, the seed here. Oh, is that a melon also? Or is that a pumpkin? Melons, hell yeah. What are the rest of this? Normal seeds and stuff like that. Looking for like a carrot or something, but it's fine. I'll take that. You got anything over here other than wheat, sir? More melon seeds, I'll take them. Thanks, sir. Bye. Bye. Be able to build a farm wherever I decide to settle with that. That'll be nice. Another village is found. Hopefully they have another farmer that I can sell more wheat to. We're stocking up on those emeralds for when we eventually uh, get to a village and are able to do a little flower forest over this. Those are all roses, huh? Neat. I don't know why I'm like losing frames like this. Like, why am I having this happen? Maybe some mod is causing it or something? I don't know. Like, normal Minecraft and modded Minecraft don't cause this problem. Okay. I was afraid that would happen. Luckily. Gucci. Oh, look, everyone's gathered together. Oh, nice. Well, he doesn't want to trade with me. Look at you, sir. You got wheat? Hell yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hey, don't you wander off. farmer go. There he is. Hey, excuse me. Out of the way. Perfect. Okay. We get more. Alright, let me look and see what items I'm carrying that I do not need right now. How about this one block of smooth sandstone? How about this five sand? Um. How about this flint and steel? And screw that flint and steel. So easy to make. Yeah, it's all the wheat that we have, so. Trade this guy and get him to give us all the emeralds that he's got. Perfect. All right, easy, done. Knocking it out of the park. Uh, what do we got around us now? Still a bunch of desert. Another village up here. We'll go there next. Let's check out this place. Head down to there, and then head over to the other village. Those. Um, or we could wait until it comes night. That is also a possibility. We can just spend the night here in this uh, village, or to place down our thing. And we can even investigate what that structure is over there. Actually, while I'm kind of waiting for the sun to go down. So it's some kind of copper structure? It's all copper. It's just at different stages of uh, deterioration. Is that a villager over there too? Right in the corner? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and come into your bed. Monster Hunter. Kill any hostile monster? What hostile monster did I kill? I don't remember. Did I kill one? Hmm. No matter. Hello? Ooh, a sharpness sword. 
bunch of copper, even more emeralds. Got some flint. I don't know because of all this sand, but nothing here, huh? Got a skeleton skull, but it doesn't really do anything for me, right? Can't make anything with this, right? Yeah, nothing. Get rid of it. Get rid of the sand too. That's inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the flint too. Don't really need that. Anything around this building? It's just a. It's just a copper shack. How bizarre. You there, buddy? What are you? Uh, what are you? A random fisherman, huh? I can get a bucket of cod from you. Okay. Well. That is uh, interesting. I guess let's head down towards the other oasis. And apparently that is a, another portal. So, we're in one. All the nether portals we've found so far have been like under stuff. You've noticed that? It's quite bizarre. Also, I'm taking this gold. It's... All right, where is the chest? You think it's under here? Why do they have to hide the chest from me every single time in these other portals? It's usually like touching the thing, right? Is there not a chest on this one? Oh, there it is. Of course, the one I did not like remove. Okay, mending. Um, let's stop drowning first before I look at that. Okay. Curse of Vanishing. Oh yeah, that's just excellent. All right, let's get rid of all this sand. I don't need to sit over it now. Okay. We are still heading down this way. There was a mod I was looking at that could remove enchantments. I don't remember if it's installed though. I completely forgotten. Okay, so let's gather up all this, throw it over here. I'm just going to throw what I have in here for right now. So I have ample space to go down and look around. Let's, uh, let's get the deep dive potion just in case here. I don't know why I was like, oh god, all of a sudden, but give me a moment. That messed up my, my dive amount. Okay. So the chest is here. Uh, yoink, 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 and that's everything I want. So there is that one spawner down there, huh? Hey. Honestly, I'm not going to use the deep dive. Since this one's actually a place that has not been, like, corrupted, I guess, I would say. I can actually take a look and see if there's anything. Right, it's going to take me forever to do any mining. That. Well, I got hit by that thing, right? But there's... No monster in this little thing, but it's something over that way, but Oh god. Hmm. Ooh. 
So how do I get mining fatigue? Is it... The spawner just does it? Is that what this is? I mean, I see there's like a red dot over that way, but like, I kind of find it hard to believe that, oh, I'm stuck here now, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Luckily, I picked up some dirt, so I can do that. Go ahead and block that off. I didn't really get anything too useful there. Oops, I picked up stuff I didn't want. Okay. That is fine. Whatever. Anything else neat over here? Coral reef. Huge coral reef at that. I saw something over there. Uh, I think we'll just head to this village. Is that a tree? Looks like it. Why do I have two gold hearts? Is it because of absorption? Yeah, it looks like it. Hmm. Interesting. What is what is this? Alright, I, I can't mine because I'm mining fatigued, of course. Which means when we go to this village, we're not going to be able to get any wheat to trade if they have a farmer. Because we have mining fatigue for another two minutes. Mining fatigue is the worst thing ever. I hate it. Doesn't drinking milk remove it, or is that just poison? Not that there's a cow around. And I don't have a bucket either, so... Yeah... A very unfortunate. Oh well. Maybe I'll uh, find a villager who trades mending books for like 20 emeralds. That'd be pretty poggers, right? I'm gonna take any wheat I can, but I'm gonna leave the bread because I have so much bread already. Just not worth it to continue. Cartographer, huh? You know what I haven't seen since using 1.19? I haven't seen a blacksmith house. Are they not in this version? Or at least, are they not in the, uh, the desert temples, perhaps? Hello, everyone. Hi. You guys have no farmer, huh? That's unfortunate. Means your village is useless to me. All right, well, I'm gonna head, keep heading west, I guess. No real reason to stop here. What is this item that's dropped on the ground? Hmm, rabbit hide. I don't want that. Don't really have a use for it. I guess I could make it leather if I cook it. Is that how it works? I don't know. But regardless, one leather is just gonna clog up my inventory for right now, so. We will not deal with it. That is some blue water over there. Oh my god. And that's a desert temple over there too. Ooh. Let's go. And another nether portal. Okay. Rock on. Gonna have to dig it out again though. Seriously, what is with this? much okay um bro there we go all that for a fire aspect sword which i'm not gonna grab okay yeah i think we're done looking at nether portals uh most definitely wait i saw a right over this way wait where there it is I just can barely make it out in the contrast of the map Another village up there, too. Probably not going to go check that one out, though. Another portal up there. Well, all we can really do is head for this uh, desert temple, then, I guess.
It's so dark underwater. I don't like it. Beautiful coral reef, though. Like, very good, very, very good. Excellent. Very excellent. Okay, continuing on. While we're traveling, I gotta say, while throwing mods into Minecraft, I did not realize that there's like a uh, thing similar to mod, similar to uh, Forge that's called Fabric. And I gotta say, I hate the fact that it exists because there's like some mods that are for Fabric only. And then there's some mods that are for both, but only Fabric has been updated to the latest one. And it's just like annoying. I don't really like it. I wish there was just like one version of things for mods that everyone worked on so that like you didn't have all this incompatibility nonsense. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway. Careful not to trigger the pressure plate. Excellent. All right. Easy peasy. Now then, let's uh, go. And I will take this. And a uh, boop. And boop. Why not? Okay. We've got more ingots. Got some string. Ooh, we got a diamond. I can make a diamond pickaxe. Hell yeah. Diamond horse armor. Not bad. I'll go ahead and get rid of this cobble. And I'll pull this uh, sandstone. I'm going to leave that horse armor. I don't need multiple horse armors, you know. I don't have a saddle, though, which is uh, kind of what we need to actually use the horse saddle, though. What? Why? Why is there a block missing? from? Oh, I guess there's not. I guess I just... Dumb. Never mind. Carry on. All right. Well, got what I needed. Get out. Beautiful. All right, where to next? So that is indeed the question, is it not? So we got a jungle over here, along with a, a, a biome next to the jungle. Uh, we have something here, it looks like. It looks like a stone building in the middle of the uh, jungle. Actually, there's just stone there, too, so I don't think that's anything important. What is this? Is it the Podzol biome across there? Nothing interesting in the east, except for more of the barren biomes, so I say we head north and see what we, ah, excuse me, pick up, see what we can find. So we got a nice forest, a jungle thing with some bunch of bamboo, just an absolute bunch of bamboo. Uh, we have a nice jungly forest thing over here. Looks like a shipwreck here. Shipwreck here. Um, nice big open waters. We got desert and a mesa here with a mine shaft right there. That's nice. Um, and we got. Okay, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Um, first of all, throw away the sand and the sandstone there. Place this down. Build a boat. Grab that, pick up this again, and wham, bam, funky man, we have a boat. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, first of all, just kind of venture around here, load some chunks and get some more of the map finished up, shall we?
see another thing like right in front of me too. Is that another village? It looks kind of like square blocky structures or something. Hey, there's more jungle over that way too. And more in front of me. Oh my gosh. This might actually be a good place to set up camp since we have a village nearby and jungle, which is good for bamboo for, you know, scaffolding and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Is this a jungle? Not a jungle. A village in the middle? Or is this a... It's a shipwreck. Okay. Well, that's a thing that exists. Oops. I could actually make my base right here on this area and have a village nearby, two villages nearby, excuse me. Um, plenty of animals, it looks like. Another portal frame is over there. We've got, what is this purple stuff? Uh, whatever that biome is, that looks interesting. Okay. I might actually build my house here. This is an interesting looking uh, place, ain't it? Although I don't want to waste a whole lot of time in uh, rebuilding stuff and all that, you know. I don't want to, you know, have you guys sit around while I do a bunch of menial labor and digging like this. But I figured we would at least take a look at what we have. Coal is good. Um, that I can get into here, right? And then do that, that, and that. Okay, yep. Axe broke. Oh, it goes. Maybe at least one more. There we go, right there. Found a mineral in the block. Ooh, I found a lapis? That's cool. Okay. Well, let me put the sand here and the cobble there. I can grab this lapis and put it there as well. And this stone put it there as well. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, so, as I was saying. Not bad, not bad. I got some sea turtles I can breed here as well. Uh, those look like huge mushrooms over there in this little area. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'm not going to lie. We got plenty of wood. We have, you know, a nice beach with sand on it. We're not going to be rained on here because it's technically a desert, right? Um, we have the two villages, so I can block one off and use it as a breeding area. We also have whatever this is. This looks like something. Yeah, I am... I'm liking this. Also, if we zoom out, we have like plenty of other villages around, or nearby at least, that we could check out uh, to get more resources. But yeah, it's neither here nor there right now. The only thing we're missing currently is a underwater temple nearby. But there might be one up here somewhere. So we will just count our blessings for now. All that good. Okay, so... Let's set up shop here real quick. It's going to be just a temporary haven, though. I just want to drop off my resources, set my spawn, you know, the usual. So, dump everything into the chest that we don't need anyway. I'll place my bed down. Uh, I should have another shovel, don't I? Did I not make another shovel? Hmm. I'll make one now. That's where I had one. Okay, so boop, 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 shovel made. And then our bed will just go right here for right now. Set spawn. Uh, do I have enough cobblestone to make a furnace? I do not. Okay. Whatever. All right, so I guess let's begin by just going south and taking a look at our village. We definitely want to see what kind of people are there. We even have some horses over here. Excellent. This would be good. A 
nice flower area too. Got some pigs, got some horses. I just need cows, chickens, and sheep, and I'll be golden now. There's some chickens. Excellent. Okay. Now cows and sheep. There's some cows. Ooh, baby. go. Ah, so yeah, it was just a cave I saw at the top of this mountain. Okay. Yeah. Dang, though. This is going to be an interesting home. I cannot wait to build it and just see what happens from it, you know? What did I put a marker there for? Oh, right, for whatever was over there. It looks like it's just bamboo and cliffs, though, so I don't think anything matters right there. All right. One thing that does kind of matter for us is the fact that there's lava next to this place. And it's already spreading, so that's great. Hopefully it'll burn itself out and not cause too much problems with frame lag. Go ahead and grab this wheat as a present for the villagers. I say as they take their own wheat to use for present. Okay. We got a decently sized farm here, too. Okay. Anything that's not wheat? Doesn't look like it. I can't really tell. Over beetroots, I guess. Well, that's fine. Hey, farmer. You want potatoes. Hey, farmer. You also want potatoes. My gosh. You all want potatoes? Oh, the third farmer. He wants wheat. Heck yeah. Want some more? Darn. Oh, huh. Only three farmers in this village. That's not bad. That, that, that's very good, actually. Um, oh, there's so many farmers, because the more farmers there are, the, the more we can trade to them to get... You know, materials. Okay. We don't appear to have anything else, though. Just this, uh... The farmers, I guess, huh? We have a couple of boys who can't do anything, so we'll probably kill them off. These two, pretty quick. They don't have anyone else. They don't even have, like, an inscriber or a, a librarian, I mean. They don't have... Not anything, huh? They got that smoker table there, though, don't they? There should be a smoker guy somewhere. Uh, oh, boy. You don't sell anything, right? No? Okay. Well, that being the case, it is getting dark. Our village is unprotected. And... Yeah, that's just not a great time for us if it's unprotected. There's also a bigger village over here, too, uh, which maybe I want to fortify that one because it's more of on a plane. This one is more up in the air. I don't know. I could just fortify a little bit here. Maybe? Yeah, let, let's uh, see what I can do over here. Grab some terracotta because it'll be... Uh, Easier to deal with in sand, right? Okay. Well, that's as much as I can get right there. Got a decent amount, but not a whole hell of a lot. I will just need to... Was there a bed in here? Not. Take a quick nap here before I start surrounding the village. Uh, yeah. I do want to have these farmers. These farmers will definitely come in handy for me, at least. So, let's go and actually I can start by cutting this part off. Make it so they can't escape. For now, 
all worry about getting it so they can't leave. Hey there. And then I'll worry about getting it so monsters can't get in after that. Okay. That guy's wandering a little bit too far away. God dang it. Whatever. Hey, bud, you want to come on this side of the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just over there. Perfect. You too. Come on, man. What are we? What are you doing? What if I ring the bell? Hey, didn't you hear the bell, man? Come on. <sighs> I guess I could also just steal them in their homes. <laughs> That'd be easy enough. Here we go. There's the meat boy. No, get get in your home. Perfect. I wish I had a pickaxe still. Come on, dude. We're under attack. Get somewhere. There's that house over there. Oh, dude. Don't make me trap you somewhere. It's like unnecessary, huh? Which farmer are you? You're the potato farmer? Is it because I beat the bell too much and he's like What are you doing, man? He didn't see shit gone. Now we did. Huh? Oh, right. None of my arrows with me anymore. Free! Stop running! I'm only gonna die tired. Okay. Oh boy, that was a heavy hit. Thank God I'm not playing on hardcore, or I would have died, I think. Iron Golem is not happy. If I can get here, it can't get me. <laughs> I'll wait till my health regens and try to get to a place where I can hit him again. A little more. A little more. There we go. Hmm? I can hit him, but I can't. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. In your home. All right, sir. Uh... There's one house open. Would you kindly get into it? What is he doing? It's like he's running over here. And then he says, never mind. I'm gonna kill this other green shirt. These villagers can't have jobs. So they are just a worthless existence on this world. 
Yeah, go in the house. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna ring the bell. Ring it again. I'm gonna ring it again. Because maybe he like only goes so far. Why? Why are you not going somewhere, dude? I honestly don't get it. I don't get it, man. What are you doing? What's your goal here? If that's what you want to do. I'll just make it so you can't leave this garden. Sir. Okay, well, now only spiders can get you, so don't have to worry too much about that. Now let's go check out the other village like I had intended. And actually, go. Now I can make another pickaxe. And properly deal with this other village. <gasps> Sheep! There we go. They're a little too far away to actually lure back to my place, though. So, one thing, huh? Uh... Huh. Okay. Well. See a chest down there. Oh, it's come to my attention. I don't have any way to get cobblestone, do I? Carrots! Oh yeah. Finally arrows, there we go. Perfect. And potatoes, oh my god. Just a cornucopia for me. Oh, I'm holding. No! I'm give them the wheat. We got a villager down there, okay. Let's see, can I get cobblestone by just punching it? I forget. I, I, I usually use an axe. So... Nope, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Let's do this then. Oh. We have to start here. Okay. Enough of this damn axe. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this, 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 that. Boop. And boop. And boop. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, a huge, huge, huge overhang. So let's just... that. We'll go one more in and then we'll turn. Open up a little bit of the side there. All right. Hello. I've made it down to the last level. Vagabond, you still trade for stuff that's weird. Anyway, I saw a chest in here. Let me go ahead and just take that for ya. Wheat seeds, hell yes. 
Oh, very useful. What structure is this? It hasn't given me a notification yet. And pumpkin seeds. Not that I ever use pumpkins, really. Fletcher table. Ooh, just up there, too. Go. Power two bow. I can make a power three, I guess. Anything else down here? Up here, perhaps? I just see that one chest up here. Down there. There. Nothing came behind these leaves, is there? Nope. Okay. Well, that's that then, I suppose. That was a lot of coal, wasn't it? Okay. I like that it I like that it tells you how many blocks you're able to get from it. Oh, did it not work? Okay, no. I thought maybe hopping like that would allow me to uh get it but apparently not five iron ore here huh what's all mine and copper in that huh oh no i was holding the left of the tilde i think found some material hitting the block though i guess just nuggets but that's okay all right well let's head back up and let's actually plug up these holes. I don't want to deal with that. Okay. We have nine holes there. Over that village? This way. Oh, what a peaceful looking village that I'm going to. Oh boy! We got some angry mans here. That's always skeletons. Skeleton this, skeleton that. Out of the way, skeletons. Alright. No bed in here, right? Of course not. The one house I go into, no bed. This one? This one's got a bed. Sleep! Quickly, the skeletons are coming! That's right, you jerks. Get out of here. Wrecked. All right. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so what do we have in this village right now? Hmm? So we got a cleric somewhere. Yeah, I actually saw him. So... Just normal village is exactly what I needed. Perfect. Little villagers. We got a nice little marketplace here too. That's cool. A cleric. Rotten flesh, huh? What else we got around this place? You guys got any farmers? No farmers, it looks like. That's okay. Should be two clerics, huh? Got a nice two-story house, too. You have to just shut the door on me, huh? Wait. There's a lot of beds in here. like a bunkhouse for him, huh? So many jobless villagers, too. This is like... This is perfect. Here's the other cleric. This is absolutely gold. 
village. Darn him. Full. I'm a fan of that house, though. Okay. Let's see. Let me first go over here and take a look at this area. Oh my god, Ultramine is so good. God bless it. Start by building the wall on this side. So that they cannot leave this side of the village. Here will be good. It's fine. Okay. Out of cobble. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't go out there. Don't go out there, guys. Come on. Come on. Fine, whatever, don't listen to me, I don't care. Jerks, pacas. Actually, how about this? Um, chest, and chest, there we go, chest, okay. So, meow, meow, meow. And then I'll use here. No, it's here, that would be. Okay, give me all of my wood. And throw that in there and that in there, I guess, for now. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to go over here. Give me some more cobblestone. On the nice wall of the mountain. Ooh, I got a diamond from that, too. Dang. Okay. With that, I can now make a bunch of axes and do this. Y you know what? Hold on. There we go. Okay. Ah, what? Oh, hunger. Right. Um, I guess ultra mining takes up hunger. That makes sense. Need some kind of trade off, I guess. Yeah, you can see whenever I do that, it takes uh, one of the gold hearts and takes them away. Perfect. Okay. So let's collect everything we have. Okay, this is... I will admit that resources from stone might be a little overpowered given that I just got six diamonds from this. But hey, that's okay. I'm all right with it. I shouldn't be all right with it, though. Okay. Um, actually, I had one more pickaxe, so perfect. All right, so let's toss that in the garbo. And I want to... Get that and also the coal that was over here and here. Oh. Okay. Oop. 
25. Pull from that, huh? Okay. Let's get rid of the iron ingots. And the... Um, everything else is good, right? Yeah. All right. Perfect. We are Gucci. I'll also get rid of this bone that I don't need in this bow. Take back the crafting table. And now we have a bunch of cobblestone to work with that we can use to fortify the village. Perfect. Man, imagine without Ultramine how long it would have taken to get this much cobblestone. It would have just been insane. Don't come this way. Don't do it. Okay. And we'll do this way. I need to take down the flowers too. One iron gold. He's wandering a bit far away. I want to cut the village off this way. So that there's... Everyone's inside here. I guess I'll leave this place open for right now. If he can get back if he needs to. Or if he will. And I'll just kind of leave a hole and continue onward. But, you know, let's just get this area covered little. Okay, so he can definitely jump over that. I'll leave a little bit of space like this, and we continue. He walked back towards me. That's good. Can you uh, walk through that gap, please? I want to walk over here quick. These are all just cows. That's good. Good, 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 good. Oh, I'm going to remove this thing here. And also chop down this tree. So it's not in the way. Continuing to build. Uh, right there will be fine. I'll just push this boy back and do that, and then I'll just need to make this one taller so that the spider boys cannot get over it. Well, not spider boys, the uh, normal mobs can't just jump it. Okay. Then, I can just start linking through the normal buildings. quite handy now so I can do this is that, is that guy still out there uh you know what golem's gonna live out there now that's where he lives I'm gonna use this night to my advantage start lighting up dark areas here so the mobs can't spawn within the confines of the wall well as that Put all there, and then do this too. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'll leave that village out. Uh, actually, there's a villager in here, isn't there? Yep. Of course, there's a villager out here. Okay, well, let's do this then. Okay, put a push there. There, push there, push there, push there. Push us out of this wall. Push there, push there, push there. There and there and there. Okay. Go over here. Okay. And then if I just go from this wall, it should be good. Not there. I can't jump over the damn wall. Also, this is nice because now all the villagers should be sleeping. And they won't be getting in my way when I'm trying to seal up the village for them. Will be easy enough. Just a couple of blocks there. I don't like how that block's sitting there like that. It's annoying. Okay. And a couple of blocks over here between these houses. That window's gonna have a very good blue view of that wall now. That's for sure. Okay, excellent. Also gonna get rid of this tree because it just means things can spawn on top of it. Okay, perfect. Everything is basically lit up now. Everything is more or less sealed in. The one exception is that golem that's outside the wall, but I no, 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 no. Come on, don't don't tell me that. Hold up. Although I don't have a way to get in and out of it. Um. I guess what I could do is build a, a staircase here to get over. Also, I should light up the top of the wall. At least a little bit. Uh, that and that. Combine those. Get more torches. A lot of zombies right there. Shouldn't have to worry too much about the rooftops. Oh my god, that is a lot of zombies. There's a villager in here sleeping, isn't there? God damn it. They used the hole in the wall to come outside. Well, he, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kick him out of bed and sleep. Oh my god, look at that. Absolutely insane. Okay, well, he can just live here now. Outside the wall where it's unsafe. Because of his misadventures. Okay. Over. Ha, ha. Who put this wall here? Um, why is there a red mark right? Oh, there's just a zombie right there. Um, all right. So now everyone should be, for the most part. Well secured. I do want to check the rooftops just real quick. So we'll climb up here. This place is lit up. Those are all fine. That top, uh, possibly not. That one might not be. Especially these look fine. Oop. Okay. So if I just put a torch on each side here, it should be okay. Let's parkour. Here, over to here, over to here. 
That's fine. I'll just uh now. And then I think okay, yeah, there was some area here they could spawn, which was not great. Okay. Right along. I don't think these walls are long enough for it to have stuff spawn on them, but just to be safe. I will be putting torches on them. There we go. Mm -hmm. no. Kind of ugly, but that's okay for right now. long as villagers can't be attacked by things spawning inside the village, I should be okay. Perfect. I had just enough torches. I mean, I can make more if I need to, but... In fact, I think I will make some more. At least one stack worth. Here we go, just so I have extras that I can plant down now. All right, this village is 90% secured. I just need to do one more thing, if I can find where a crafting table is at real quick. I can always put one down if I need to, but I, I think back here had one, right? One of these houses did, yeah. Maybe one of these houses did. Really, none of them do. Huh? Okay, fine. I'll just use my own crafting table then. I'm not sure how many I need. That's the problem. I figure as much. Okay. All right. We'll start with this. I, of course, can't pick my crafting table back up, but that's fine. All right. Now, a little anti spider this motherfucker. By just going around the edge of town and making a platform here, so the spiders won't be able to get past. Doesn't need to look fancy or anything, but I figure why waste the opportunity? Oh, it's wrong, villager. You want to return into the village this time? Well, too bad. Should have thought of that before you slept outside the wall that I was building. If only it was easier to move these jerks. That. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just going to leave that one there. I don't care. And as usual, I'm just going to ignore the side of these buildings being possible areas for spiders to be able to climb over because I don't care enough to matter. Yes, indeed. I'll, I'll maybe do that, I guess. I even might stop them. Who knows? Spiders are idiots. I hate them. Well, there was like a certain block that spiders couldn't climb that you can build walls out of. It'd be so nice.
Work, I guess. I don't know. And mobs can't spawn on half slabs, so that's why I'm using the gear, just in case you're wondering. Oh, we're making progress. I think the rest of the wall is pretty easy to deal with. Mostly just these kind of things here. Oops. Easy crap. Okay. Back up there. All right. All the way to the right. My eyes are bugging out because of this. You know what? I'm through it. There. I don't want to mine another block. I made enough of these. Perfect. Here. Okay. And with this, the villagers are now secure as they can be. I'm just going to back this up one more just so it's uh, Not easy for the enemy mobs to get into. Perfect. Okay. Uh, stretch from the building. All right, perfect. So let's go collect our items. And we'll head back to our, our camp. Where did I drop my stuff off? Did this one? No. What do you got? You want sticks? Really? You want sticks, huh? That in mind, so actually, I won't keep that in mind. I will lock it in so you cannot escape me. Perfect. Okay, yeah, was it this one? Yes, it was. Okay, so I want to take out my hay, my coal, my seeds, my breads, everything that I have. There, and I'm going to put the cobble away because I don't need cobblestone. Easy enough to get. I'll take everything else back out. Throw this stuff in there again. Take this stuff in. Kind of repeat the process of putting stuff in and away. And I need to get rid of these poppies so I can take my boat out. And my inventory is still full. That's perfect. Okay. Now then, now that this village has been fortified, and uh, that place has been lured. There's not really much else around here, uh, at least on my little... This is a nice little island. I could, like, wall this entire place off and make this just, like, a paradise, depending on how long I was given. We'll start here, spread out slowly, put a nice wall along the, uh, the edge of the greenery here. Keep the desert out. Put a bridge across here a couple places. Make it a nice huge town. Eventually I could do all that if I felt. I really like this. This is nice. Okay. But for now, let us make a waypoint called a home. Confirm that and we will head back that way. Okay, now I just gotta figure out where my places are to jump over the wall. Okay. Perfect. All right, so I got a nice village of clerics, a nice village of farmers. Uh, there's a guy who trades literal sticks, which we're not going to have an issue with sticks, given the fact that we're in a jungle. So 
we have a very, very easy income of emeralds. We already have a bunch of emeralds. We have plenty of open villagers there who do not have any sort of jobs, so we can just make them all uh, book boys. And hopefully find a good mending book. Hopefully find some good other stuff, you know. The dream, in it? I just love being able to, like, chop down all that grass at once. It, it literally makes me so happy. You do not understand how much I hate grass in Minecraft. Like, sure, in the beginning it's cool because you get seeds, but after that, it messes up your block placement. It messes up, you know, trying to hit mobs. It, uh, is just unnecessary and I hate it. We got some more sheep here. A little bit closer than the other ones. No matter. We're out of the jungle and into the normal forest, which is good. All right, almost home. How my legs. Starting to spawn monsters though, which is not great. There might even be some on my ship. I'll have to fight off. Hmm. There's none on my ship, at least. In the bed. Oh, I see one coming for me. Come on, quick, quick, quick. There we go. All right, well, let's remove these spiders now. Approaching a little bit too close to my territory. Store everything we can in the chest. Boop. Take the bread back. Thank you. Okay. Grab this. Take care of the rest of these spiders. And as you can see, they did not blow up the uh, terrain there, which is because of that mob griefing mode off. Okay. Come on, come at me. Got him. All right. One more spider to deal with, and that we are in the clear in terms of monsters anyway. Got him. All right, perfect. Go ahead and store the stuff away again. Um, so what I want to do right now, I think, let's make a another pickaxe because that one's gonna break real quick, and we'll also make a wooden axe. That way we have. Extra tools, right? Okay. This will be our home, as you know. And uh, I'm on my boat, actually. I think what we can do now is we have this area here all secure, right? It's nice and good. We have a couple of shipwrecks here and here that I want to check out. So we'll start by going this way. That way we'll also get some land over here checked out. And I'll be able to tell just a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, we even have kelp here. So much kelp. Oh, that's great. Like, I need to head toward this one. Dolphins. Real cool. Plenty of bamboo. I'm actually not sure how you grow bamboo. Do you just replant, like, a stalk of bamboo in the ground and then it keeps growing? Or do you get a seed from bamboo? Regardless, we have a nice bamboo forest area, which is just excellent. That'll come in handy when I'm building stuff later. I can make a bunch of scaffolding. Although I already have a bunch of scaffolding, so do I really need more bamboo? I don't know. It's cool. It looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I have around, you know. All right, we're nearing that ship. Once we're near the ship, we'll explore it a little bit. And then also open up the map, see what else we have around us on this landmass here. Looks like we have... 
What kind of trees are those? Are those just roots or acacia? No. We got more mesa over here though, and it looks like there's another ender portal flame there. Frame there. And I can't really talk for some reason right now. But regardless, I don't really care about. No, oh, hey. It. Are you the only villager here? No, you're not. Okay. I was about to say, did someone let a kid come up here to this crawler alone? Unbreaking fishing rod. I don't think I'll be fishing much, to be honest, so there's no real point in having that. Okay, so this shipwreck was a pretty much of a waste. Um, we have another nether portal there, which doesn't really matter too much to me. And so we don't have anything else here other than a bunch of trees. We have another mine shaft area over there, though, so that's cool, I suppose. Um, nothing too fancy. Let's head up to the next boat up here. Oh, we do have a jungle temple right there, though. Maybe I go check that out before we uh, head further north. No? It also give me a place to uh, check out the trees and see what kind they are. Yeah. This is pretty close to shore, too. Shouldn't have a huge wreck to go. Oop, that was a little bit bad. All right, got my boat. Let's go check out this temple. So what are these? It is a mahogany. Ooh. You know what? I will take some of this. Because mahogany looks fresh. Unless it's going to give me one sapling there. Hold on. Oh, nuts. It was too high. Couldn't get the rest of it. Damn. What I can do, though. <laughs> there we go. Okay, four saplings are enough, I think. How's that? Is that just a cat over there? It looks like a uh, potted cat, or like a leopard or something. Not red, so I don't really care too much. Okay. Into the temple we go. Or should I say down to the temple we go, huh? Get out of the way and easy. The arrows. Is there another string here? Oh, there was. That's fine. Just rotten flesh? That's all I get? Man! Whatever. Okay. So pulling that did nothing. Pulling that did something, but... What did it do? I don't... I don't understand how the... Thing works. Let me try this. That one pulled something as well. But I don't see anything that changed. Oh, something changed right there. Okay. Let me check back over here. Still nothing. Okay. What if I do that? Still nothing. Okay. Now if I pull this one. Okay. And a 
something. Okay, yeah, this is annoying. I don't understand the lever mechanism, so we're just gonna mine on in. Really, we got nothing again. Yeah, it was a waste of time to even think about coming down here. I'm going to grab a rough flush, though. I can use that for the cleric trades. Okay. This way again. Go over the land for now. No, anything uh, else over here now that we've explained it? Oh, we got another village. That's a thing. Also, in case anyone's curious, that's the seed. Go ahead and pause the video if you want, or take a screenshot or whatever, if you want to take the seed and play along on the same thing. Although, please note, if you don't have Biomes of Plenty and stuff installed in the same mods, uh, you won't necessarily get the same layout. So, just keep in mind. Alright. So this is just also another boat, not a shipwreck or anything. Hmm. Okay. Ahoy there, matey. Don't mind me, I've come to pillage your loot. I don't want the red kelp right now, though. Did you sell anything? Nope, you're a worthless green shirt. You should have known. I'll take your fish, though. Come on, man, you can't just take my fish. Too bad. Should have left it in these open containers. Ooh, we got some iron. Got a furnace up here. Of course, I don't have any fuel for it, except for the normal logs, but I don't want to use those right now. Okay. What else do we got? I still don't see a underwater monument, unfortunately. That looks kind of interesting. Well, okay. Not much else around this side either, huh? That's fine. That is fine. I think what we'll do next is head over here to see what this kind of biome is. Later, fisherman. Ooh, the game's like chugging for some reason. Something looks like it's there. I'm not sure if it's just mushrooms or something, though. Or what? This looks like a magical forest, almost, from Thomcraft. That's definitely not what it is. Ooh, we got a spruce forest over there. Lava down there? It looks like lava there, yeah. How interesting. I like the like purpley waters. Kinda cool.
giving off that light. Flowers, it looks like. Cool. Well, I want to go here real quick. And see what kind of... Oops. Wrong button. It is a... Oh, it is a magic sapling. What? Wasn't expecting that here. Okay. Looks like someone destroyed some kelp over that way. All right. Anything else interesting around? Not right away. So let's go over... I'm just going to put a random marker there so I have a distance direction to go, I should say. Chunks are definitely loading in. Uh, hey. We got a flower forest over there or something, huh? Some more uh, trees in the back as well. Ooh, we got some sort of a uh, mountainous taiga over here. Those are some nice looking cliffs right there, by the way. Right in front of me, like the jaggedness of them just looks really nice. Anything else up here? We got a shipwreck up there, but oh, we got a village. That's cool. Yeah, that village damn near takes up a whole island, too. At least a good chunk of the island. It's pretty big. Ooh, there it is. Blue monument, and we'll make it dark gray, just so it stands out against the water. In fact, let's go. Village one. And I'm going to change this to village two. Actually, uh, is, I think it's still a temporary waypoint. Let's pick a normal one, village two, right there. Perfect. Okay. Everything else doesn't really matter uh, in terms of waypoints and stuff. Okay. Well, we finally got our underwater monument, at least. Was that always there? No way it was. But, like, I guess maybe me going up this way and over that way is what revealed it? Hmm. Okay. Well, there's nothing else I really want to explore around here for now, so... God, there are so many waypoints. That's what happens if you mark everything, you know? You just get a bunch of waypoints and stuff, huh? Okay. We'll just head back home for right now. Back to our nice little shipwreck. And we'll just kind of do our thing. It's kind of nice that we have a uh, body of water on both sides of our home, right? We don't have to worry about, you know, trudging across land a bunch. We can just dock and make it all look nice, you know? Uh, trident boys throwing tridents at me. So real quick, take a boat and get home before the uh, enemies start to eat my butthole. Thank you. So many zombies. Why are there so many zombies? I wish I could like... Use Ultra Mind to like hit them all at once. Oh, 
the hole. Thanks for the help. Skeleton? I was going to say sniper, but I don't know why I was thinking sniper when I was a skeleton, you know? Oi, you that. Get off my boat. This is my boat. Even though there's a zombie coming right for me. Don't let me sleep, which is nice of her. I'm away. Okay. Let's store what we can. Okay, perfect. So there is a lot of work to do on this boat and uh, the surrounding areas. Uh, to at least get a base started. We need to make it one secure two bright we need to start farms we need to get animals penned in so we can start breeding them which shouldn't be too much of a problem uh yeah there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done with this to make it work for us right so take it in this is what everything looked like right now okay i'm not going to do a before and after picture like we did in the hardcore one I'm just going to show you guys around after we're done, but this is the base right now. Desert on the left, grass on the right, ship in the middle. Things are looking bright. <laughs> anyway, I believe I'll call it there for the stream for now, everyone. And then uh, I'm not sure if we'll stream tomorrow. I might take a day and you know, build stuff. I'm not going to do too much crazy things, you know. I just want to farm and build a, build a base. Because that stuff, I feel like it's not that interesting to watch someone build a base, especially if they're not, you know, a lot else. So after that, we will explore around a little more once we start streaming again. And I guess the plan will be to attempt to get our, our full diamond and enchantment stuff going. I might also mess around with the villages a little bit, uh, trade some more with them, get some that have trades, and kind of do that kind of stuff. But yeah, for now, I'll catch you later. Till next time, bye bye.